All right, y'all. This right here is for my brother, Terrence. Because he is a diehard Bulls fan. Them motherfuckers can go O for whatever, how many games they play now in the NBA. Little crybaby ass motherfuckers can't play 82 games no more, I don't think. They all be crying and shit, all these millionaires. They can't make it through an 82 game season. Motherfuckers are already not physical. And they still can't make it through an 82 game season without fucking crying about it. The two straight games, the traveling and all that BS. Motherfucker, you a millionaire. But I'm jump, I'm getting all off the shit right now because that should be pissing me off with the NBA. That's why I'm not a fan no more. But I am a fan of this player right here, D. Rose. And this really not clips about, I mean, they're going to show clips about him, I'm pretty sure. But this Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce. What they had to say about D. Rose when he won that MVP that year and you know, a couple other seasons. But I want to catch this, you know what I'm saying? I was going, I was like, oh yeah, I got to react to this. I don't care if it is, it looks like a short video. That's what I'm reacting to, one of these shorts. But I just had to, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm feeling this, I already know I'm be feeling this, but this is mostly for my brother Terrence. Terrence, I know you're going to check this out. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this, bro. And Terrence is my, actually, blood brother. It's not, I'm not just calling him bro like a lot of people doing. He's actually my brother. Vamp, that's my other brother. He's, I don't even know how big he is in basketball. I don't even know if he's a D-Rose. But I know Terrence is a diehard Bulls fan. I know he's a diehard D-Rose. So let's check this out, bro. Oh, that's Rondo, though. Classic shit, bro. Classic. Rookie Rose. Ooh, he was a problem. He was a problem day one, man. Day one. The one that st they say he was a problem day one. That shit crazy. The one thing that stood out about D Rose right away was although he was quiet, <laughs> man, he spoke the language. And what he means spoke the language. If y'all don't understand what he mean by that, that mean he was able to play the game the way they played it. You know. He didn't shut up. You know, that motherfucker had a mouth and he spoke that basketball language. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't nothing to play with. When he had to lash out, that motherfucker lashed out. When he had to get down and dirty, that motherfucker got down and dirty. That's what he mean by that. You know what I'm saying? He spoke the language. He was built for it. He was built for the position. He was built for Chicago. the moment. He was hmm. built to how to go on. He definitely was built for my hometown, Chi Town, for real. Because if you ain't good, they're going to run you the fuck out of there. They gonna run you the fuck out of it. And I mean the fans. I don't mean the fucking organization. I mean the fans. <laughs> On his back like that, like it did not shock me when he became MVP. It didn't shock me. But I remember that that series was uh fun to watch. Uh it was it was miserable sitting there, being able to do nothing. I was watching our guys just fight. That that was a dog fight. D Rose actually thought, man, I can beat these guys by myself, man. <laughs> I, can, I, I think I can beat them. Like he was coming off, he was playing like, like that type of relentless in the league, not just us either. I was watching him throughout that whole year. Uh, but yeah, D Rose right <laughs> away, I knew right away he was something special and he was going to be something I ain't special. I've never seen a point guard that athletic though. That explosive. But he did one of them games. I don't know which game it was, but he, nah, when he, he did the, lay, the, the layup. The, the, no, he everybody talks about that. Yeah, the he way he threw that down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. See, the way he threw it down, he cradled it, then he, the way he threw that bitch in. Well, let me take that back. Was, he, nah, when he, he did the, lay, the, the layup. The, 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 no, he did the oh, dunk nah, on the yeah, breakaway oh, yeah, yeah, where he yeah, rocked yeah. it, he cradled it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And then did like that, I was like, whoa, point guards is doing that now? It's like his, his body control in the air was a different level and his explosiveness was was like nobody else. He had he, he had something else. He, he was he was different. He was on some different shit and he looked different. Yes he was. Yes he was. He was on a totally different level than anybody that year. I think it was 2011 year when he won the MVP. If D Rose never would have fucked his leg up God knows what he'll be right now. I don't like what the fuck Tibbs is doing right now with D-Rose. I get it. They in a playoff hunt, you know what I'm saying? They actually going to probably make the playoffs. And they sitting D-Rose out because, you know, he's a mentor now because of his age. You know, he, he ain't got that leap anymore like he used to. But that boy still can play. D-Rose still can get you about 15. 
He could still get you about 15 and five, six assists a game, two rebounds, one or two steals a game. He could still do that shit if they give him the playing time. This man coming off the bench. What's up with Tibbs with that? D Rose followed you, Tibbs. I want Rose to get a ring, man, but I don't like what they doing with my man over there. He ain't getting no tick. None. And when he come in, no matter what arena he's in, it's always that D Rose MVP chant. You always hear that shit, no matter where you go. That's how much love this man got. That's how much respect this man gets from the league now. But Terrence, I know you feeling that one, though. So hit me up in the comments and let me know what y'all think about D Rose. Y'all still a big D Rose fan? If not, hey, too bad. Because I know I am. So until next time, peace, love, and deuces.